Inside the U.S. Embassy in Beijing, the blind activist Chen Guangcheng had just completed his daring escape. Facing pressure to leave the embassy and the protection of the Americans, he asked to call an old friend, 83-year-old Jerome Cohen. But when I got on the phone, he just kept saying over and over, Feichang Bu Antren, which means extremely unsafe. Uh, extremely unsafe. And that meant he didn't want to go out of the embassy because he thought he's going to put his head right back in the dragon's mouth. Cohen is a well-known expert in Chinese law who first met Chen in 2003. As the co-director of the U.S. Asia Law Institute at New York University, he offered Chen and the Chinese government a way out. The desire to formally study law was part of what caused Chen to flee his heavily guarded home in the countryside, where he'd been in prison after exposing his government's policy of forced abortions and sterilizations. The U.S. negotiated a deal with the Chinese government that would have allowed him to attend a school in China, but Chen feared for himself and his family's safety. Cohen offered Chen a position as a visiting scholar here at New York University. It's a deal that seems to have the support of both the Chinese and the American governments, not to mention the local student body. It's a gentle way to make sure that all the parties get what they want. Uh, you know, Obama, the Obama administration gets to get the guy out of China, and China gets to say, oh, we didn't cave to the Obama administration. Someone of his caliber can obviously bring a lot to the dialogue here at the law school. I think there's a lot of students from China here, so it could be interesting for them to be able to speak with him, especially with students who want to maybe go back to China and practice there. Leaving China was never the first choice for Chen, who wants to press reform in his homeland. You can do a lot from America, maybe more now for China in America than you can do in China given the uh, pension of the Chinese government to lock people up who don't march in intellectual lockstep with them. What he can accomplish in exile and how long he will stay are among many unanswered questions. But it looks like the next step for the blind activist is the United States. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.